Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Create Your Future. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about belief when it comes to manifesting. Um, just before we get started, I did want to remind you guys that we are still doing a giveaway once we reach 100,000 subscribers. Um, all of that information on how to enter the giveaway will be in the description box below. So I kind of wanted to talk to you guys today about manifesting. I'm going to just say in general, um, there are lots of different techniques out there, lots of different rules that people have um, kind of put out there, which in my opinion have kind of become limiting beliefs for a lot of people. And I want to talk about how to make sure you guys aren't falling into that trap of, um, you know, just, just following what most people are telling you to do as far as manifesting goes. So, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I have a client and she has been a client of mine for about five months now. And while she gets progress and she'll see movement, um, she really has just been having a difficult time. Like she really had been struggling with getting consistent manifestations and getting the full manifestation that she wanted. Um, mostly SP stuff, but she, we, we worked on other things too. And it was always kind of the same where she wasn't fully getting what she wanted. And she was excited when she would get movement, she would be happy for a little bit and then it would come back down again and she would get discouraged. And then we would have a call, you know, we would talk about it. And it wasn't that she was doing anything wrong. Okay, and I think that's really the big thing here. With a lot of you guys and a lot of my clients, like a real big concern for you guys is that, okay, let's say you are visualizing. That's your main technique that you're using, okay? And you have been really doing it perfectly in the way that you think you're supposed to be doing it. You are, you know, doing it, um, when you're in a state akin to sleep, you are really concise with the scene and you're being consistent and you're just not seeing what you wanna see and you're not seeing that movement. Um, and as you guys know, there's always movement, so we don't wanna use the 3D as evidence, but at the same time, like we want our manifestations. We do wanna get what we're trying to manifest. So it's not like I'm gonna tell you guys to just ignore the 3D and, and hope it comes one day, you know? Like that's not, that's, that's not the point of this. That is not the point of this at all. It doesn't mean living in your mind and feeling happy in your mind internally, but then not actually having anything in the physical 3D world. No, that's not what it means. It just means don't look to the 3D to see if your, your technique is working or see if your, you know, routine is working. You don't look to see if it's working because it's always working. And when you do that, you're going to just draw out the process. Um, but let me get back to the issue that she was having. So basically she was always getting to this place where she would be like, you know, I need to talk to you because I'm doing this, but I don't think I'm doing it right. So I'm doing this visualization, but I don't think I'm doing it right. So we went through it, we went over it and she wasn't doing anything wrong. She was not doing anything wrong. Then she moved along to doing inner conversations because she thought she liked that better and it felt more comfortable for her. So she worked on inner conversations. And again, she was going back to this place of, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I think I might be doing this wrong. And this is such an issue guys, because if you're constantly thinking you're not doing something right, if you're constantly thinking, Ooh, I don't know if this is right. Maybe I need to reach out to a coach or a friend or whoever, you know, another person who I trust in the manifestation community, you know, to see if I'm doing it right. And when we do that, guys, we're giving our power away. We're giving our power away because here's the thing. You are always doing it right. You can't do it wrong. You cannot do anything wrong. This is your reality, okay? 
in your reality, you get to create the rules. You get to decide how you do things, what happens, um, how your life plays out. You get to decide all of that, okay? All of it. So when you are allowing fears to tell you that you're doing something wrong and you're allowing the ego to try to keep you in your comfort zone, like I've told a lot of you guys, like your ego wants to keep you in your comfort zone at all times because it's only functioning based off of what your dominant belief is. So if your dominant belief is, uh, I'm always single, I never get a, you know, a healthy, um, consistent relationship. I'm always in these like friends with benefits situations. That is what your mind is going to think. That's what the ego is going to think. And your ego wants to keep you there. So when you start changing your story and saying, I've always had really healthy relationships. Um, relationships have always been so easy for me. I always get committed relationships. I always get guys who are head over heels for me or girls, whatever the case may be. Your ego is going to come up. And it's going to say, no, that's not true. That's not true. Look, look, this guy is treating you like friends with benefits. This girl is, is ghosting you. She's not calling you back. It's not true. And here's the thing. We know, we know guys, we know better. Your ego just wants to keep you in your comfort zone, no matter what that is. Even if it's the worst situation and you hate it and you hate the situation you're in, your ego still wants to keep you there and it thinks it's doing the right thing by keeping you there because that is the belief that you've been holding on to for so long. So it thinks that's where you need to stay. So then it creates scenarios and situations and circumstances to try to prove to you that what you're telling yourself, your new story that you're telling yourself is wrong and it's not right but that is not true. It's just not true. And you guys get to decide that. If you are constantly worried about doing something wrong and thinking you're not doing it right and thinking you need to affirm more, you need to affirm less, you need to let go, you need to constantly think about it, you need to put focus on it, like whatever you guys think to be true, whatever you assume to be true, whatever you assume will work for you, whatever you assume won't work for you, that's exactly what you will experience period. Like that, that's what you will experience. And I've been through it before guys. I've been through it myself. So I, I'm telling you from not only my clients, but like my personal experience as well. I've done it all. I've tried, I've tried all the different techniques. You know, when I learned about law of attraction, like over 10 years ago, I was doing everything. I was trying everything. I was really, really committed to doing it. And, and being successful. But the problem was I was constantly letting fear take over and, and tell me like, you must be doing it wrong. You're literally the only person out here who can't manifest. Like you're literally the only person who isn't getting what you want. There must be something wrong with you. There must be something you're doing. There has to be a little piece that you're missing. And when we allow those things to be dominant in our minds and allow that to kind of second guess what we're doing, it's going to show up that way in your experience. So if you're thinking I must be doing this wrong, then your subconscious is like, oh, let's give them more of that. You are doing it wrong. It's not working. That's why your manifestation isn't here. Or if you think I'm not doing it enough, I'm not doing it often enough, then that's what's going to be true. It's going to be, hey, you know what? You have to actually affirm all day, every day if you want to get the thing that you want because that's what you're telling yourself. So guys, like let's make it really easy. Let's come up with some new rules to make it as easy as possible for you. I was just telling a client the other day, like um, with, with the whole weight loss thing, every time I drink a glass of water, I'm losing weight. Every single time I drink a glass of water, I'm losing weight. Every time I go for a walk, I'm toning up my legs. My, my, my entire body is getting toned every single time I go for a walk. Everything I eat just melts right off me. I don't keep weight on. I cannot keep weight on. Like, make that your dominant story if you want to lose weight. So, I hope this video isn't all over the place, but I, I really wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about this because it's like a major thing with a lot of you where 
you are so close to getting what you want, but you're not allowing it to come in because you're saying that you're doing it wrong or you're saying you're not doing the work, you're not doing enough work, you're not doing the right thing, maybe you aren't good at this, maybe it's really, really hard. Maybe your SP is the one person in the entire world in your reality who won't conform. And we know that that is not the case. So we have to always be telling ourselves, you know what? I experience the best version of everyone. Like, why not say that? I experience the best version of everyone I meet. And make that a dominant belief. Instead of always going to the worst or thinking the worst or thinking, there must be something I'm missing here. I couldn't be doing this right because I don't see my manifestation. No, we push through and persist. We persist no matter what. We are going to get what we want because we're not gonna allow anything else outside of us to tell us otherwise. And that's just what it is, guys. Like, it's only you and your mind. That's it. There is nothing or nobody outside of you that can stop your manifestation, that can control circumstances, none of that. So we really need to step into our power and say, you know what? I'm gonna really start looking at what beliefs I might have or what things I might've been telling myself recently or what assumptions I might think I have around my ability to manifest my desires. Sure, we always talk about blocks when it comes to relationships or when it comes to physical appearance or money, but we don't really talk about what blocks you might have about your ability to manifest things. And that is super important because a lot of times, like I said, you guys are actually blocking your manifestation by assuming it's hard, by assuming you can't have it, by assuming it's gonna take a really long time. Like, let's just get rid of those things. Let's get rid of those limiting beliefs and just decide, you know what? I was born to manifest. I've been manifesting my entire life and it's so natural and effortless for me. It's so easy. Like, all I have to do is decide, decide what I want and it is mine. It's mine as soon as I decide. And that is absolutely true and it can be true for each and every one of you if you guys choose to Focus on those beliefs that you have about actually manifesting your desires. So I hope that that video was helpful for you guys. It's just a common theme that I've been seeing a lot recently. And I, I always kind of like to base my videos off of what my clients have been bringing to me recently, you know, because obviously it's something that they're struggling with. So I can imagine that at least one of you is struggling with the same thing as well. So. I, I like to, you know, choose those topics for my videos based on, you know, what I've been hearing lately. So yeah, I hope that that video was helpful for you guys. And if anybody needs help, um, you know, more specialized or specific help for your personal situation, I am available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, and all of that information on, on how to sign up for coaching with me will be in the description box below. So thank you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.